So in my last video, I spoke about this whole encompassing narrative when specific incidents of racism happens and how people come to this overarching conclusion that Britain is racist when the specific racist incident happened by a small group of people or even happened by an individual and how people use this as an excuse to go back to that overgeneralized um, narrative, Britain is racist. And I gave my opinions why I don't feel this is the case. So I'm not going to go through it all again. I spoke about it then. Today I want to briefly explain how black people such as myself are perceived when we have this kind of thinking and when we say such things such as Britain is not racist. Now if you're a black person that doesn't follow the accepted narrative a black person should follow, you're called all sorts of things. You know, um, a coon, Uncle Ruckus, um, sellout, betray you betrayed your race and you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, you're you're um, selling out to the white man, you're being used by the white man, things like this. And I'm telling you things that have been said to me personally. But what I find really odd is this whole black people are one and black people are a collective fighting together. But as soon as you have a different opinion, that's it. You know, I've, I've heard, I've personally not been called this, I don't think. But I've heard and I, I've seen, you know, a black person being called a pet. A pet. It got me thinking. They say that we are the ones being used by white people and singing the same tune as a white person. And I think, well, a real white racist white person, many of them don't think black people are equal. Many of them used to, and maybe some still do, I'm talking about real racist white people. They would used to think black people were not human, animals right that's how they justified slavery so how is it possible that a black person so-called in the same fight has the audacity to call another person a black another black person a pet an animal who's really singing the tune of a racist white person a person like me that says actually the power is within your hands we've made such progress that you can enter spaces that our ancestors never dreamed of. Or someone like this particular black person that can call me a pet, an animal, because I don't subscribe to the main narrative. I've even heard black people being called a prop, you know, a prop, just a prop for the white system, for white supremacy, for the white man. You know, and the first person that comes to my mind is, you know, Tim Scott in America who concluded or who, who stated, who affirmed that America is not a racist country. And he was called a prop. And I was thinking, these, like, do you know the credentials of this man? Do you know his, his accolades? Do you know how intelligent he is? How successful he is? How he basically became an expert in his field? He worked hard, he strived, and he's where he is today because of that. And yet people just completely ignore his journey and call, in a, call him a prop. And I always say, for goodness sake, if you don't respect his opinion, respect his journey, because it's his work that got him there. Look, black people don't all think the same and we won't think the same this wave of identity politics that's trying to lump us in one box and make it seem like all black people feel the same and have the same experiences. I'm going to push against it because we are individuals and for true change to happen we have to respect the individual, we have to see the individual, we have to value the individual because that's how true progress happens from individuals who can share, collaborate, go back and forth on ideas. That's how change happens. So if you're a black person here and you perhaps don't believe or agree in what I'm saying, don't use it as an excuse to say that I'm dancing for the white man. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Connect with me on social media, Different Voice X is where you'll find me or how you'll find me if I should say that. Um, and yeah, it's a pleasure always talking to you guys. If you want to support this channel, support my voice, the links are below. Take care, stay safe, stay sane. Bye.